Hey guys and girls, it's Blackjack with your 96 guitars. Uh, this is number two today. We're doing three guitars in a row today. Uh, this one's a Gibson Les Paul. Uh, it's a kind of a reissue of a 50s model. Uh, we're going to talk more about it. I have my friend and good customer here. Um, we're doing a restring and a setup on this, so we might pause a few times you know, when we're doing the restrings. It's just to save camera time, but we're going to get started. And remember, if you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe. Now, we're trying a new camera angle, as I said in the last video, so bear with me. It's the camera lottery. I think that's pretty good. Um, neat little Gibson Les Paul. Uh, I believe it's a 14 model. I didn't open the back, but just out of curiosity, I want to see what's going on in there. If it's a plug, if it's a plug and play, or if it's a soldered up joint. I think it might be plug and play. Is it? Yeah, a lot of modern ones are. I don't, I'm so old school, I don't like that stuff. I like old school. I like old school. Change is bad. <laughs> nope, old school soldering, old school no way. caps. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, I like it. That's awesome. I like it. Very clean job too. Uh, bigger, big globs of solder on the back, but they're Gibson. Everything is right and correct. Uh, they put a little, a, a little more solder on there than I would. My solder job wouldn't have looked like that. But I guess I'm just, I'm just tooting my own horn right now. <laughs> Actually, that's good news. I like old school. Yeah, this thing has got P90s in it, and they scream once you get everything adjusted. Gives you a, a, a much more vintage sound. And I would assume this is wired from what I saw, more like a late 50s type of setup, which is going to give you some tone bleed when you're flipping in different pickup configurations. So, now I'm just showing off. <laughs> I like it. I think we're going to do the whole thing on it. We're going to oil the board. We're going to, I don't think the frets need to be polished. They look really good, but I'm going to put some oil on the board. Let's see where we are to begin with, to see where we can go or where we want to go. Make sure I'm not going to hit my lighting. So this apparently is a factory setup. This, 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 looks, this looks completely factory. I don't think anybody's been in there and boogered around. It's all really good solder joints. That is a little tight, too. I'm going to have to call my old guitar player up at the Gibson factory in Tennessee where he works and does quality control and ask him how. Well, he wasn't there in 2014, but I'm going to have to bust his chops a little bit. That is just too straight. How is this one played? It doesn't stay in tune. Okay, so we got a not staying in tune condition. Uh, we know that it needs a little more neck relief. So is it the top, you know, the fat E and a B. Very low string action, which is okay on the Les Paul, but it's a little too low for my liking. We're going to set it up just like the SG. It's at below four and below four, so that's that's just too low. I mean, I, I, I'm, I've heard of guys that like low action, but that's ridiculous. Um, let's just see where we're at with this. Yeah, way, 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 way too close. Choking. I guarantee your strings are bouncing off of though. Yeah, I, I can't stress stress enough, man. From watching you do this, how important it is to have guitars looked at by a pro. I mean, you know what I mean? It's People like, buy a new guitar and they think that, oh, it's ready to go. It's not. That was right. It's not ready to go. They need to be set up. This pick, these pickups are so close to the strings that I guarantee they're choking them out. And even the, even the adjustment screw is sticking above the cover. I 
So I'm going to make this adjustment now because this won't change. Just because, yeah, that's better. That still has to go down. That's better. Too far. No, I went too far. Down, mumbling to myself again. I must have a lot of money in the bank. I wish it was the case. Still too low. Well, baby, do your thing. There we go. Small increments when you're adjusting anything and keep measuring until you get where you like it. But that's significant. Yeah. Yeah, well, you don't want to go too far. Always. I learned that when you're working on some fenders. So far on. It was, yeah, they were way, way, way too close. Uh, okay, let's de-string it and get to it. I'm going to pause the video quickly until we get all of these taken apart and we're going to talk about how we do the overwrap on the tailpiece, so stand by. Okay, we're back with the Les Paul Special. Um, today's string of choice. Uh, we measured the strings that came off, they were 11s, they were, they were honkers. Like something like 48 to 11. Uh, these are hybrids, they're 46 to 9. So we have not adjusted the neck relief yet because um, this, this, this lighter gauge string may affect the neck relief. It may actually let the neck relax a little bit. So um, that being said, we're going to wait to adjust that until after we get the strings on. Um, this is an overwrap system. You know, it's old school. The stop bar is your saddle and your bridge. Um, the only thing you can adjust here is your height, which is your for just like a tunematic, and your intonation is one on each side. That's it. So very, very old school. Uh, I did a 56 Les Paul came into the shop oh, about a month ago, and man, it was just the coolest thing to see something that old still in service. An old blues guy was playing it, and the neck was the wood on the neck fretboard was completely worn down almost to the underwood and you know of the neck and he was still playing and he brought it in for a full setup and it had this exact setup on it it had two p90s and this this exact over it. so you know this is a 50s reissue of that guitar basically very cool stuff and when you see old guitars like that you just can't help but admire them Don't want these to go all over the floor. Yahtzee. Recycle your strings. Anyone who believes that, stand on your head. I'll probably get in trouble from the do gooders out there. Sorry. All right, so I'm not going to show this entire process, but what I do is you take the stop bar and you load the entire stop bar first. That's just so. Um, because the way they overwrap, I have to go under and over, like so. Right? Or did I do that backwards? I think I did. You look at it. Yeah. I went backwards, sorry. You load it from the front, and then they overwrap. Like so, up to the up to the board. So I'm going to load this up, and I'll be right back. So I wanted to pause while I loaded the stop bar. So the stop bar, you put it in there. If, if I recommend that if you're going to do this at home, that you do them one at a time because the string has to go through from this angle, 
and overwrap the stop bar saddle assembly. And then you head up the board to the tuning peg. So I wanted to show one of them. You'll notice the string goes through this way. See, we pulled it out from this direction. You load it, get them all loaded, pop it in there. And the first one is a little tricky because it's going to keep want to keep falling off. Um, and then you wrap over the stop bar, measure to the second peg. The same, the, the same rules apply. If it's going to live here, you go measure to the next peg, put a bend in it. That way you know where to stop when you get it through the peg. And then tighten it up. First wrap goes above the, the string hole. Every successive wrap goes below. And you should, you're aiming for three, two and a half to three wraps. Get two starting on a, on a third. Now this is particularly important to pay attention as you go along before you cinch them all the way up that you're getting your string spacing correct over the stop bar as 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 correct as you can catch it with the eye because there are no notches here. So yeah, that's how you can move it. And if you cinch it right down, you're not going to be able to move it. So I don't put them all the way down to tighten them to pitch until I get them all done and then I'm going to sight down and make sure that I have them evenly spaced from one side of the board to the other and even more importantly that they're going over the magnetic pole pieces on the pickups correctly and evenly. <clears throat> and on we go. I'm going to pause while I do the rest of them. Okay, we're all strung up. Time for tuning. Get it tuned up to pitch and let's see where our adjustments are. Because the strings are so close to the board, it's not wanting to pick it up. Vibrating. Well, these tuners are super sensitive. I'm going to pause really quickly. This one's really giving me trouble coming up the pitch. Uh, stand by. Okay, we're all tuned back up the pitch. We got all the strings on. I won't tell you the full pa that I made. <laughs> I got the A and the D mixed up, and I couldn't get them tuned. And I couldn't figure out why. Let's 
Oh, I'm only human. These things happen. Fix it and move on. Wow, this thing is intonated perfectly. I find that hard to believe with that kind of overwrap system. Boy, do they have a perfect. That on. The G is the only one that's a little off, and you can't do just the G, so it's going to stay that way. Um, very nice. Very nice instrument. Responded well, even to my idiocy and making a mistake, but like I said, these things happen. Before I stab myself, I'm cutting these off. Now, let's check our neck relief because I know it was not optimal when we checked it to begin with. With the new strings on there that are slightly lighter tension, we might have gotten some relief, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's better, but it's, it, I do need to adjust it. I need to relax it slightly. Not surprising. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is going to be a 5 16 nut. This one is not a hex. Yep. Bear with me while I get my tools. Did they give you the wrenches with this? Yes. Rip? Everything. And it's still a little picture that you take, you take a, at the back, right? Oh, yeah? Yeah. The goofy little, look, here's your <laughs> instrument being born. <laughs> that's, that's why you're paying $2,500. Oh, yes. <laughs> Right, yeah, right, right the garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I, don't, I don't think anybody saved it. I didn't get one when I bought my Thunderbird. <laughs> Emotional attachment to musical instruments. Better. Better. I like that. I'm going to put just a little bit of tension on it at that adjustment. And that should be that. I keep telling myself to get the little Gibson wrenches, but I don't. Because I don't listen to anybody, not even myself. Said. That is going to be better. Now all we're going to do is set our string height and call it a day. We already did our pickup height. Let's see what the string height says. The lottery. It is the tunematic type bridge. Ah, perfect. With that relief over four, 64s, and right at four, 64s. In fact, I think I'm going to lower. No, nope, I'm going to leave it like that. Want to mess with that? So the, the neck relief was too too straight. 
we put some neck relief in it and from the previous measurement when I first started the the string action was way too low now I like it where it is the neck relief effectively put the string height right where it's supposed to be now let's get her tuned up wipe her down and hand her off this one is another completed guitar I'm going to check for dead frets I'll be surprised if we have any, but stranger things have happened. Beautiful. Nice 50s reissued style P90s. Old school pots in the back. It's wired like a 50s style Les Paul. It, it plays really well. I'm going to check for dead frets off camera, but that's another successful setup. Blackjack with 396 guitars. Uh, we did two, two for one today. Um, uh, really nice SG Epiphone. Uh, plays like a dream now. Uh, and a nice Les Paul uh, special. Uh, they both needed to be set up. They were way out of whack. But that's normal. Uh, that's what I'm here for. So we'll talk soon. If you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe. And we will be back at you.